when we try to yeah to differentiate them we can we can use two um yeah two simple um parameters here we can talk about the complexity of projects and the scope of the projects and if we took a look on on planner to do excel teams this is more i would say for, this is my personal opinion this slide this is um more for the personal use in small teams so when it's only about really to, to create and handle tasks, to assign them in a, in a, in a small team, to work together, to, to be informed what, <clears throat> what is worked on, to, to attach files. This is the world we, we can handle pretty well with planner tasks and, and, and teams combined or, or only single use um, possible. It's doable. And uh, you have really fast ramp up to to bring the people on board. If you have, if you already using those tools in your in your company, if you now need to to introduce teams, for example, this is a different story. But if if we have the assumption that you already use teams for for internal collaboration and communication in your company, and now it's only to yeah to be able to manage smaller smaller projects what you what you name as a project then those tools may be a, a good way to go and extend for example instead of, of excel using of, of sharepoint list feature uh, could be could be nice as well it could be a pretty good user experience when we talk about classic projects so projects in the in a classical approach like like we did it you have your your designated project manager and he has to plan a, a whole bunch of, of tasks with, with a lot of dependencies and maybe talk about baselining critical path method and, and so on um make those tools like project online or project server or the desktop client is, is it's a very good approach depending on the level on on, on co-working you're expecting there if we really talk about working so the desktop client is not really a good good choose or a good way to go if you take it as a standalone because then you need to share those mpp files with your colleagues with can be yeah, a little bit frustrating at the end but um combined with, with for example with uh with, with um project online this could be a good choice so you have your storage in in, in project online and then you connect your client only the, against those project online project then you can work locally it's much easier when you use project for the web for example because project for the web can be pretty good integrated in teams again so there the loop is closed it's much better integrated from my personal point of view as for example project online but some features like the baselining or critical paths are still missing if you if you take a look on project for the web itself without the capabilities behind coming from the power platform for example um but yeah, both of them can 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 use resources are uh, pretty simple if again if you using the standalone version on your machine you need to share internally in your company an mpp file call, uh, containing all of the resources so which means if someone has checked out this file it's not easy to that you that both of you work at the same time with the same files or maybe a colleague makes a mistake and the file gets disrupted so there's a lot of complexity coming from, but I would say for the classic projects, so which are not maybe which are complex from an amount of tasks, yeah, okay, those are those are good tools to to use. I personally would prefer always the the modern tools because this is where the roadmap shows quite clear what Microsoft um, would like to achieve with those tools in 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 in, in the future and where they invest really in, in bringing out new features continuously like those another two like I think we will see pretty soon baselining and critical paths as well in project for the web so this is not that far away from my personal point of view and then the the gap between those will be over the time will be more smaller and smaller till the point that that project for the web will maybe yeah has much more rich feature set compared to project online but still have the ability on the easy to use aspect but let's talk about when we what happens when we talk about project and portfolio management 
there normally we talk about things like we need to handle project requests, we need to add ideas to for new yeah for new areas for new programs or for new projects, and we need normally we need to handle commercial aspects of projects. So what happens if I staff and project manager and, or if I staff and senior consultant instead of project manager, does this have an effect on the on the cost side of project if I assign them specific tasks? And what happens if I replace a generic resource with, for example, with, with named resource? This is, those questions is a, are more complex questions. So of course changing data on the one hand side will have an effect of many data in, on the other side in the system. And those processes are not longer separated, they are really fully integrated. And this increases um, here, the fun needed function set, what we need to, to deliver with such a tool finally. And there are some named some other points as well here. So I like to have approval flows. So if I request a new resource, a new idea or a new project, it, there should be an integrated workflow um, that someone approves this, pro, um, this, this element and something happens afterwards. But as well, a little bit, this is quite easy. Approval can be complex, yeah, for sure, but it needs to be assigned and then on the Power Platform, it's quite easy to set it up. When we talk about resource management, this is, again, it's a more complex thing because we need to handle skills, we need to handle proficiencies, roles, we assign them to, to task or on a project level, then we need to find the, the right resources for the right tasks. And maybe we have not only 10 resources in the company, maybe we have 10,000 resources in the company. And this is where it can be more, yeah, the complexity is, is much more. But we have, uh, we need this to handle this really end to end to not only see the resources itself, we need to see their availability their working time model. So how many hours I can book them or to which projects they are already booked. And if they change that, does this have an effect of my duration of the project? And, it, and there, there are a lot of more aspects we need to, we need to handle, we need to be aware of and to, will, will, will change the behavior of the system. 